So where, Don, are we now? We are at the home of Jeff Golden. I'm excited about showing you this home because it was designed specifically for passive solar heat gain. Uh -huh. It has radiant floor heating and it also has solar hot water and electricity and it supplements the system. This home is special. Well, I've been working on and advocating renewable energy for years and years and years, so I thought when I built my own house, it might be a nice thing to walk the talk. And when I built the house in 2001, uh, I, I put solar hot water in, and I also decided the heat system should be a radiant heat floor heated partly by solar power, and the backup is uh, natural gas. You know, if, if we all have to adjust if we, you know, if we're going to walk our talk at all about leaving a decent world to our kids and grandkids. And when you live in an area like this, going solar, if you're going into the investment of a house at all, is a relatively easy way to do it. Jeff, I understand your home was specifically designed for passive solar. Could you explain the significance of that? Well, some of it's pretty simple. If you have a southern exposure, which I did, and I picked my site for that, but you, you, know, you have as much glass as you can in your southern wall, well insulated. And then I use concrete floors, radiant heat floors, which have, uh, you know, give, they're sort of a twofer. They're a heat sump that absorb the, the, uh, the sunlight, especially in the winter, and can give off some warmth. But it's also the, the home's heating system. So the hot water that's part of my normal plumbing circulates through tubing through the concrete floors and uh, warms the concrete. And there's a radiant rising of the heat all the time instead of trying to force heat where it doesn't want to go. So to heat the house, the solar hot water and natural gas work together and I can show you how that works. Let's go see it. This is the mudroom where it all happens and it's really a preheat solar system because you've got a uh, industrial sized natural gas water heater here that supplies both domestic hot water and the water that goes into the flooring to, to heat the whole house. Uh -huh. But before the water gets there, it travels from the roof where it's heated by the sun into a preheat tank. And during sunny weather, the hot water goes from the solar tank to the natural gas tank, doesn't demand any natural gas and provides the needs. If it's overcast, the water will still be heated on the roof some, raised in temperature before it gets to the natural gas tank and, and demand less natural gas than it would otherwise. This definitely supplements your system. Yeah, 